Okay, this morning uh, is a video about uh, something I just kind of stumbled across when looking through one of my, uh, something I bought a while back. I purchased a, a little power supply kit and it came with this uh, LED display and I decided to pull it out because I hadn't built the kit and was curious to see how it worked or what it was and found out that it was a uh, basically a self-contained little voltmeter um, and so I'll show you really quickly uh, how it works. I'm going to be turning on my power supply which has a slightly noisy fan so yeah, sorry about that. And we've got a it powering up a six volt power supply, and or a power supply set to six six volts. And So, as you can see here, let me get this out of the way. Um, set to 6 volts. According to my power supply, it's 5.99. 6 volts, it kind of hovers in between there. Um, so, I'm going to bump it up by ten, a tenth of a volt increments and I'm going to just pump the voltage up see what happens when it gets to ten volts it'll move the decimal point over <coughs> And at this point, it's uh, it's off now. My power supply says 14.7, and it's reading 14.8. And we are at the maximum voltage that I can put out of my power supply. Alright, so let's turn off the noise. And I'm going to show you a little bit about this thing. Alright. So it's just a three digit, seven segment display with little dots here. Um, it uses three wires, although it can be configured for only two. And on the back here, let's zoom in as much as we can with it. Alright. So, what we have is power comes in the red and black and then the white is the sensing wire. Uh, you can either uh, connect the white and the red wire together or there's a little trace here you can just bridge this solder connection and that's if you you don't want it sensing or you want it to sense the same power supply that it's powering. This one requires uh, 
a minimum of six volts. There are some out there that uh, can work on as little as 3.3. Uh, so basically what it has is inside on the other side of the circuit board is a 5 volt voltage regulator and uh, the other thing here is if you see uh, let me get uh, something that's a little bit better of a pointer so these are connections to resistors and by bridging these different pads uh, you can control the accuracy of the meter um, the idea is that you get it as close to the correct reading as you can um, in all reality what you should do is put a the, this thing really needs a small uh, potentiometer on here uh, with uh, these this one and this one bridged I got the accuracy pretty close up until it got to about 13.8 volts or 7 volts or something in there <clears throat> um, that's kind of it I mean it's not very complicated See if I it's And that's it. Uh, what would you use this for? Well, uh, if you need to build a simple power supply, adjustable one like this kit, um, and you don't care about how accurate the the power is, uh, this would work fine. Uh, because if most small projects, I mean getting within 10% of the voltage you need is probably good enough um, this thing would work fine um, what it really would work great for is if because these things are so cheap is if you need a, a display of the voltage for some project uh, and you, you can get one of these and then fiddle with the resistors until you get the voltage exactly accurate set your voltage and you can monitor it that way um, I've ordered several more of these different versions um, the other ones I've ordered have a small potentiometer on the back which I'm assuming is uh, meant for adjusting accuracy so anyways I thought this would be a, an interesting little device for a somewhat quicker visit video um, there you go thanks for watching